everyone, and Jai Janindra everyone. Welcome to another Jainism Basics video. Today I'm going to be answering some of your frequently asked questions from the comments of my Jainism Basics videos. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can check out the playlist that's linked in the description and in the card in one of the corners. I don't know which corner, so let's just get started. Question one. Is a Jain permitted to kill a mosquito or any other sort of bug that is intent on harming him slash her by sucking his slash her blood? Well, Leland, first of all, uh, I would highly encourage you to look into the singular they pronoun. Um, but is a Jain permitted to kill a mosquito or any other sort of bug or anything? And the answer is no. I do believe very highly in self-defense, but uh, otherwise, no, you shouldn't kill other beings for any reason. Um, I really like using mosquito spray, like mosquito repellent on myself so that they don't bite me. Um, but just it's just a matter of doing everything in your power not to harm another being. Um, obviously, sometimes these things are in instinctual, like a fly lands on you and you slap it, but then if you feel remorse, that's much better than feeling no remorse at all, which would be bad. Okay, next question. Please provide resources for learning Jainism from basics. Well, Rajni, uh, thank you for commenting. I am working currently on a big resource compilation um, that won't be a video because it would be too unwieldy and everything would have to be linked in the description and stuff, so it's actually a massive document that I'm working on full of resources that um, will be accessible in the next couple of months if you are a patron, and then a couple months later, hopefully, for the general public. I will make it public eventually, but um, if you're a patron, it is an exclusive right now, so be sure to check out my Patreon if you would like to access the resources that I've compiled myself. Um, obviously, again, I don't know everything, and feel free to leave resources in the comments below if you have any good resources that I couldn't think of. In a lot of Jain scripture, okay, so this is going to be an intense one. In a lot of Jain scripture, it is mentioned about Indra and Devdas will come and listen to their Thunkar speech. Now, who are those people? And one more thing, Jainism believe in three lokas, right? Okay, so the first part, Indra and Devdas. So Indra is considered a type of god, not a Tirthankar, um, but he is a character in the mythology of Jainism who um, has a lot of power. Um, he is very, very powerful. In uh, Mah Mahavir Swami's story, he um, actually transferred... Um, Vardhman, Mavir's uh, original name, from one body to another, um, from one woman's body to another, and made Queen Thrishla pregnant that way. So um, he has a lot of power, and um, he has lived a very, very long time. And uh, same with Devdas and Devis and Devs, uh, they are all. Um, beings of that sort who have a lot of power and who don't live on earth they live in a different place and um they can come and go and affect change on earth if they so choose but mostly they are uh fellow devotees of their thunkers um yakshas and yakshinis aren't um necessarily there are good yakshas and bad yakshas and yakshinis i would say they're most similar to what saints, I, I guess not saints, because saints lived on earth and achieved some sort of thing, achieved a status of sainthood, but I guess sort of like angels who like interact with the world, but don't, but aren't a part of the world necessarily. Um, that's what I would say Devs and Indra are. Um, they live in a different world, in a different realm, um, which is what you're referencing in the second half of the question, and um, they uh, can come to Earth if they so choose, and they can take people from Earth to places like Mount Meru. Pretty in-depth question. I don't have all of the answers to that, uh, but that's 
the closest I could get to an explanation for what that is. And one more thing, Jainism believe in three logos, right? Yes. So in Jainism, um, there we have a whole different geography that includes like the cosmos and things like that. And I am not an expert at all in it, but Lokas are just different realms of worlds, and we believe in multiple realms of worlds. I wouldn't call it similar to the multiverse at all, because it's all part of the same universe. Like, we can interact with the other Lokas, sort of. Um, but I'll leave a link in the description for uh, more on Jain geography. If Jainism is peaceful, then why do Jains attack Muslims in India? It's because Islamophobia is real and there are bad people in all religions and there are people who are influenced by bad ideas in all religions and um, Jainism isn't excluded from that just because it's my religion. Um, there just aren't great people sometimes and sometimes those not great people can affect the opinions of a lot of people and it's terrible but uh, I feel like Jain teachings try to get you to rise above it, but it's a matter of the person themselves affecting that change. Someone can say they're Jane but believe in bad things or believe negative things about other people um, or groups of other people and that's that's that on that person. It's not on the religion. Just like it's on that person when um, someone of a Christian faith does something bad or it's on that person when someone from a Muslim faith does something bad. It's not the religion's fault. The religions teach peace. All religions teach peace. But sometimes bad things happen and sometimes because of that people get bad ideas in their head about other people. But hopefully we can rise above that. Can you translate the prayers into English if possible? Um, I am not a translator, uh, and I'm not the best person to ask for this, unfortunately. I know that uh, because of my Jainism basic series, a lot of people seek me out and ask me complicated things that I don't have all the answers to, unfortunately, and uh, translation is not my strong point. If you listen to me talk in Gujarati with my grandparents, you would understand. Uh, and. In addition to that, uh, the sutras aren't in Gujarati or Hindi specifically, it's in a different Sanskrit language. Uh, so it's very, it would be very difficult for me to translate these prayers um, and they wouldn't be good translations. So I urge you to search elsewhere for that if possible. I know it's hard to find resources. Uh, I am working on it uh, and if I can find a good translation for the Novgar Mantra or something, I will link it below. At the end, all religions put humans on top. Who knows, maybe being a tree is the best thing that could ever happen to anyone. Smiley face. <laughs> yeah, um, it's true that all religions seem to put humans on top, but there is a reason for that. It's because we're in control of our own instincts, um, whereas other animals are not. Other animals have to kill in order to survive, and other animals aren't able to think critically, and trees as far as we know, aren't able to think and for themselves and exist for themselves and perform actions for themselves, where humans are able to do that. Humans are able to think through their decisions, and this critical thinking allows humans to go through a journey that other animals and other beings aren't able to do uh, to become better than what they were and what their base instincts are. So that's why I think all religions seem to put humans on top, including Jainism. Okay. This is a lot of questions at once. So I made it through your Jainism basics videos. Is there another playlist you made? No. Do some Jains do a water only fast the entire week? I've only known one person who did that. Yes, some Jains do only drink boiled water for the entirety of the eight days of Pajushan, which is a fasting holiday. Uh, I would compare it to something like Lent or Ramadan, um, where you look back on everything that's happened and apologize for the bad and repent and all of those great things. And sometimes that includes fasting, not always, especially uh, if you have health issues or anything, always stay healthy. Uh, it's not a matter of 
fasting the most or anything. It's doing what you can in order to repent and really meaning it. Um, but yes, I know a few people, including many in my family, who haven't eaten for eight days and only drank boiled water between sunrise and sunset. But it is very hard and I can't go more than two days without food, so to each their own. I follow the Society of Friends, which, which in my humble opinion, could be the most peaceful Christian-based religion. However, I do believe that Jainism is the most power peaceful of all global religions. You'll have to look up Jainism museums in the NJ and Y area because I'm currently 45 minutes south of the area. So the reason I included this comment is because uh, A, it was very nice, thank you, but B, because of uh, the Jain museums comment within it. Um, there aren't really Jain museums that I know of. Um, admittedly, I haven't looked into it too much. However, in New Jersey, there is the Siddhachalam Tirth, which is the first Tirth outside of India that you can pilgrimage to, and it is a beautiful place. I've been there several times, um, and it's really amazing to be there and pray there. And another place you could go that's definitely more accessible is the Jain Center of America in Queens, New York and there are there is information everywhere there and it's really inclusive of all of the different versions of the Jain faith and it's just wonderful there uh, if you take the stairs uh, there is information on the walls that teaches you everything in English um, and yeah it's just a great place I just know the New York New Jersey area well so I thought I would include that and shout out those places. Okay, this is a toughie anything, but in your religious, you are killing yourself, and then your religious, I believe you meant to say religion, anything but in your religion, you are killing yourself, but then your religion says, don't kill anyone, then why to kill yourself seriously? Okay, so I think what you're trying to say is, why do you advocate for not killing anyone but then you try to kill yourself which I think is a reference to the fasting and giving things up um, it's not trying to kill yourself uh, as I said before please try to stay healthy try to be as try to survive it's not trying to kill yourself by fasting it's just a way to repent you can give up other things um, I know someone who gave up showers and only took uh, baths to lessen the amount of water they used uh, for those eight days. I know people who have eaten all day but did, haven't, but only had a certain number of food items. They could have as much as they wanted of those items, but it was only like five different items of food. And it's just one tool in the toolkit of Jainism to ask for forgiveness um, and to understand to just to further understand yourself but I really don't think it advocates for killing yourself I do know people who have fasted for very long times when they were very young um, but it wasn't ever the parents pushing them and it was their decision and that's what matters um, and yeah it's just not about that and that just indicates a misunderstanding of the religion, which is a real shame because a lot of people misunderstand it and don't realize that it's really not about that. Uh, so I hope that you find resources that tell you otherwise um, because it's not about that. <laughs> Where are you guys? Your creator sent his last messenger to show you true way of life. Once read Quran and know your creator. I respect your opinion that um, Muhammad was the messenger of the creator and I respect all religions who believe in monotheism or theism itself. However, that's not my religion. Um, however, I am open to reading the Quran. It's a shame that I haven't considering it was required for me to read the Bible in college or parts of the Bible, I should say, because if you're an English major, pretty much everything you read uh, before the 1800s has to do with the Bible. Um, but yeah, I should definitely read the Quran and try to understand it further because I know 
Islam is a very beautiful religion. Um, it's just not mine, and I hope you respect that. I, ha I do get a lot of messages like this um, saying that Jesus Christ is my savior, or that I am sinning somehow by talking about my religion, um, or that everything is wrong in my videos, and first I would like to apologize if I have actually gotten something wrong. Um, it's not my intention to spread misinformation, um, and I'm always open to dialogue about correcting things in my videos, uh, but this, these kinds of comments really make me sad because I'm just trying to share with the world what I know about my religion, and um, I'm not trying to preach, I'm not trying to change anyone's mind or do anything that's considered sinning. Um, I'm just doing my best to explain a part of my life, honestly. So I hope uh, that makes sense, and I hope that uh, you are able to still experience your own religion and be, feel fulfilled with it while understanding others. Thanks for these lessons. Please continue to do more on Jainism. <laughs> I am. I'd love to listen to more stories slash parables such as the elephant and the blind men. I have gotten a lot of requests for this. I just haven't done my reading enough for it. Um, I'm not the best student, um, but I am working on trying to find more stories uh, and share them. But like I've said time and time again, these videos take time because I want to get things right, except for this one, which is just unscripted and me talking. It's something I do really love about my religion, so I hope I can find more that I can share with you guys. Okay, so that is it for this video. Uh, if you uh, have any more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments below. I will do my best to get to them, and if not, maybe they'll end up in another video like this. What do you guys think? Would you like to see more like this? Uh, I am working on more scripted videos that have more real information about Jainism, um, but they do take time. I apologize for the amount of time it's taken for me to make another Jainism video, but another one will be coming pretty soon, and feel free to check out all of my other videos on various, various topics uh, in the meantime. If you enjoyed these videos, uh, be sure to check out my Patreon if you would like to support them further. Uh, there are great perks there like the Jainism Resources uh, document that I'm working on and other things. If you like these videos, check them out, see if you want to support it further. And once again, I would like to thank you all so much for supporting these videos. Uh, it means the world to me that people are willing to lend an ear and listen to me talk about my religion and other parts of my identity, uh, and it's really wonderful that you guys are all so curious and ask such amazing questions that sometimes I'm not able to answer because they're too hard for me, um, and it means the world to me that other people are willing to jump in and answer if I don't know an answer or if I can't get to the question, and it's really formed a really great community around these videos, and I thank you so much for that. Uh, Otherwise, uh, that is it for this video. Um, this is going to be the start of more videos in April. I am trying to do a video every day, but we'll see about that. We know how I am with these videos. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Special thanks to Jay Patel for being my patron. If you would like to support my video work, head on over to my Patreon and check out the perks.